So when I was a kid, my mom always packed Pop-Tarts in my book bag. Everyone knew it, including Brayton, the school bully. One of the reasons I didn't like him is because he would steal snacks from me and my friends. So one day, as usual, I went to my book bag to grab my Pop-Tart, and they were gone! Someone had taken them, and I already knew who. I just didn't have any proof, but I wasn't going to let that stop me. I walked straight up to Brayton and asked him if he ate my Pop-Tart. I didn't take your Pop-Tart. I don't even like cinnamon. When he said that, I knew right away that he did it. Hmm, that's weird. I never said that they were cinnamon Pop-Tarts. So how did you know, Brayton? All of a sudden, he smiled and took my Pop-Tart out his back pocket. Cinnamon's nasty, so you can take this back. I was confused because Brayton never gave things back. Ooh, no. if you want your Pop-Tart, then eat it off the floor. Uh, you know what? I'm not hungry anymore. I wasn't asking. Eat it before I beat you up. I had no choice but to eat the dirty Pop-Tart. Yeah, eat that dirty Pop-Tart. <laughs> So one day, I told a joke during recess, like I always did. But nobody laughed, which was kind of strange. However, Brayton, the notorious bully from school, said, Something stinks! I said, huh? Then he said, oh, it's you! Did you brush your teeth? And before I could say anything, he said, Everyone, listen up! Desmond needs a tic-tac A tic-tac He really needs a whole pack The whole pack His breath gives me a heart attack A heart attack The smell is just so bad Your breath is so bad Everyone started laughing at me and I felt so embarrassed. So I did the only thing I knew how to do, tell jokes. Um, why don't skeletons fight each other? Because they don't have the guts. <laughs> I got one. Why did Desmond become a professional mime? Tell us. Because when he spoke, everyone will run away. Oh. <laughs> At my school, we had to wear the same clothes. And I didn't like it because it didn't allow us to show our own style. The only way we could look different was to wear hats during recess. The only problem was that Brayton, the school bully, would smack my hat off my head every day. I tried dodging, but he was too fast. I even tried holding my hat down, but somehow he still managed to smack my hat off my head. So one day, right before recess, I squeezed a whole bunch of glue into my hat so he couldn't smack it off. I went outside, and sure enough, he smacked the brim of my hat. When he saw it didn't fly off as it normally did, he got mad and tried again. He swung so hard that he fell on the floor and then he gave up. As I walked back inside, a teacher told me to take off my hat, but it was stuck and I got a whole week of detention. Brain, the school bully, soaked our teacher. So our teacher was looking for volunteers to help him at the greenhouse after school. I needed the extra credit, so I raised my hand. Okay, we got Desmond. Anyone else? Yeah, me. Okay, thank you, Brayton. Uh, you know what, Mr. Stander? I got something to do after school. I'm sorry. With your grades, Desmond, you need the extra credit. Mm. <laughs> See you after school. So the first thing we had to do was clear out the leaves. We're gonna need more trash bags, so I'll be back. Wait, you're about to leave me alone with him? You don't got nothing to be afraid of, Desmond? Yeah, you don't got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> I finished quickly because I wanted to dis since myself from Brayton. Good job, Desmond. Unlike Brayton, you got done quick. Brayton didn't like what he said and turned on the flower shower. Ah, who turned on the shower? Desmond turned on the shower. What? No, I didn't. I hope it was worth it, Desmond. I got an F in his class all because of Brayton. <laughs> Brayton the bully made the whole school laugh at me. As soon as I walked in school one day, everyone started laughing. My friends were laughing at me, the teachers were laughing at me, even the classroom fish was laughing at me, and I didn't know why. I thought about running out to school again, but I remember my dad's words. If you run away, your problem's gonna stay. He's right, I gotta find out why people are laughing at me. And I knew just where to start. I went up to Brayton the school bully and asked him what was going on. The less you know, the better. Get out my face. Once I sat back down, I saw Brayton whisper something in my friend's ear, and my friend started laughing at me again. Ooh, that's it! Brayton, stop messing with me! After that outburst, my teacher told me to stand in the hallway. As I was standing out there, Brayton walked past me, giving me the look. And to make things worse, my teacher came out and said I had detention. No! Huh, you wanna know why everyone's laughing at you? Yeah, why? Simply because I told him to, little boy. <laughs> I got a big fat F for my test. Anytime a student failed a test, it had to be signed by a parent. And the last time I failed the test, my dad said, Ooh, the next time you come up in here with an F, I'm gonna forget about that. I'm not taking this test home. So after school, I threw it in the trash. Around dinner time, the doorbell rang. Hey, aren't you one of Desmond's friends? Uh-huh, we're good friends. I know that voice. Brayden, what are you doing here? You forgot your test <laughs> and I wanted to bring it to you. But don't worry, I changed your grade for you. Oh my goodness, Brayden changed my F to an A. Thank you, Brayden. Yup. Hey dad, can you sign my test? I got an A. No, that's what I'm talking about. Right when my dad was about to sign the test. Wait a minute, Mr. Dennis. The only time a test needs to be signed is when a student gets an F. What? My dad raised up the paper and could tell the grade was changed. Oh, so you think you slick? No, I didn't change it. Go to your room. And when I get up there, I'm a fabulous day, Desmond. Mm. <laughs>
So at my school, the air conditioner was always broken. Everyone was always sweating and creating paper fans. But nobody sweated more than me. Desmond, are you feeling all right? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, he's all right. He just sweaty <gasps> and stinky. Oh! Brain the bully always made jokes about my sweating problem. Everybody, why did Desmond cross the road? Tell us, Brayton. To get to the deodorant store. <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of being laughed at every day, so I begged my mom for a neck fan. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, why aren't you sweaty today? Because I got a fan. So I can stay cool. Mom, oh, you ain't cool. You ain't nothing. Well, tell that to my dry armpits, Brayton. Mm. Brayton was so mad, he told the teacher I brought headphones in class. Desmond, you know better than that. Give me those headphones. But they're not headphones. Don't worry, teacher. I'll get his headphones for you. No, I thank you, Brayton. Brayton snatched my fan and put it on. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, it's a fan. Oh, I didn't know that. Brayton refused to give me my fan back, and I started to sweat again. <gasps> Brain the school bully got me written up. So my middle school teacher was a big jokester. He told jokes every day, all day. The only thing was his jokes weren't funny at all. Why don't math problems ever go to a party? <coughs> because they always have to work it out before they have fun. <laughs> no one ever laughed at his jokes, but he kept telling them every chance he got. Well, until the day Brayton said, Your jokes suck. <laughs> Who said that? Desmond did. Oh, so you think telling jokes is easy? I didn't say that. Shut up and let me see you try to do it. And if I don't chuckle, you getting sent to the office. Okay. Okay, uh, all right, why did the PlayStation apply for a job? Why, Desmond, why? Because they heard the company was looking for a game changer. All my classmates started laughing. Are y'all serious? That joke wasn't funny? No, you ain't funny. <laughs> Who said that? Desmond did. No, well, did. guess what, Desmond? I ain't chuckled, so I'm writing you up. <laughs> Bye, little boy. <laughs> and I had to go to the principal's office. Let me tell you about the time my school bully spent the night at my house. So when I was in school on a random Friday, I asked my friends if they wanted to spend the night. Of course they said yeah, and we were about to have so much fun. But then all of a sudden, Brayton the school bully said, Oh, so you're not gonna invite me to the sleepover? I looked at my friends and they were telling me not to invite them. So I lied and said I didn't have enough sleeping bags. Well then I guess I'm gonna take your bed. Huh, see you tonight, little boy. I didn't think much of it because Brayton didn't know where I lived, so I knew he wasn't coming. That evening, we were having a great time, and then my doorbell rung, and it was Brayton! He came right in and started eating up all the pizza. He kept on cheating when we were playing pool, and anytime he got excited, he would punch us for no reason. All of my friends made excuses to leave, and they left me alone with Brayton. By that time, I just wanted to go to sleep, so I threw Brayton a sleeping bag. And do you know what he said to me? Now nah, you take that. I'm sleeping in your bed tonight, little boy. So for one of my birthdays, my parents bought me an electric bike. I rode it around the neighborhood and showed it to my friends, who were all jealous of how nice it was. But one day, I left my bike on the front porch and went inside to grab something from my room. When I came back outside, the bike was gone. At first, I thought someone in my family had taken it for a ride. But when I asked, no one knew where it had gone. I felt my heart sink when I realized my bike must have been stolen. Brain the school bully had been giving me trouble lately, and now I started to wonder if he did it out of spite or revenge. He was always jealous of my new bike, unlike his old rusty bike bike which barely ran anymore. I called the police and they started a search for my bike. They finally identified Brayton as their prime suspect and arrested him for stealing it. I got my bike back and Brayton the bully got what he deserved.